Today is a big day. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I woke up today and uh, I kind of felt bad. And let me preface this with, we've been trying to go to daily mass and the last two days we've slept in, particularly because we've had really rough nights. And then I always just leave it up to God and say, hey, if you want to have us at mass, let me wake up in time. Well, today we woke up in time, but I don't think we're going for a number of reasons. The first is our brakes on our car are about to give out and we're expecting someone here at nine o'clock. Mass usually gets out at 8.40 and I don't want to risk like having our car brakes go out on the way home or something like that or him show up early and you know it just not work out and and be more of a hindrance so that was one reason and then it was kind of confirmed like it's okay to stay home because when I got out here the sprinkler head was I like I heard a sound and I was like what is that sound it's not Jack he's not he's playing on the floor the sound is coming over there well it's leaking on the floor so yeah um, I called Juan because I think he's, he has like a lot of the numbers. He knows exactly who to call from the builders. So he's going to have someone hopefully come out soon and fix this because this is annoying. Uh, but good morning, sweetie. Aubrey just Mommy, woke up. Yeah. You know what I found for you? What? A little flower. How beautiful. You want to say good morning to everyone? Good morning. Good morning. All right, so yeah, we have a leaking sprinkler head, which is not fun. So it's kind of like a, it's meant to be that we stay at home even though we woke up in time. So this mm. kind of, in some ways, gives me a little bit more peace about staying Mommy, here. Mommy, uh -huh. we woke up too. I know. But the church already started. Well, actually, church didn't start already, but we're going to stay here today because look at the floor. It's all wet. It's dripping from up there. Do you see it? The sprinkler? It's broken. God bless you, Jack. So the other... <laughs> so the other thing that's exciting today, the person showing up... At... <laughs> Mommy, show Jack. Show the camera him. Oh, you want me to show the, everyone Jack? Hi, Jack. All right, so the person who's showing up at nine today is putting our shutters in. So that is like a long time coming. That was one of the first things we kind of secured when we got here because we don't just want like windows just open to everyone. So we're gonna get rid of the paper ones and put in the shutters today. That's the first big thing. The second big thing is that our yard should be done today. Now, again, we're not getting grass and we're gonna do mulch eventually. So it still looks kind of dirty because there's dirt there. But uh, as far as like what we're paying the workers to do, that should be completed today. So I'm excited to show you guys that as well. So those are the big things that are happening today. Uh, the other thing that I kind of want to get done is wet backing our chairs. And I find that satisfying to watch. So hopefully it will be satisfying. I don't know how easily they will clean, <laughs> but I wanted to share that with you guys. And I'll just bring you along and show you guys all the big updates. Okay, so the man came and turned off the water for us, but now we're waiting on for like someone to actually come and fix the problem. And I'm a little worried because the workers showed up a little bit earlier and they're trying to finish up the sprinkler system. And if our water shut off, I don't know exactly how that will interfere with their work. So I'm really hoping that the sprinkler head gets fixed soon, the guy shows up soon, and you know, it doesn't interfere with the people, the other people's work because, you know, that's an inconvenience to them, even though no one asked for it. So anyways, that's a little update on what's happened so far with the leaking roof or leaking um, ceiling. And then I recently like moved Aubrey's stuff away from the windows here because again, we're getting shutters today. So I'm just trying to go around and like create some space while Jack is now napping so that I don't have to you know, make the guy do too much extra. Uh, it's a mess in here still. I seriously can't wait to organize this. I'm hoping that this weekend I'll be able to like tackle a bigger task because we're gonna have some help. So hopefully that will actually occur. Otherwise I will have taken lots of naps and rested up. So 
either will be fine, but I, I think for my sanity, I want the house to be clean. And I don't know if this is something that other moms can relate to, but like a lot of the time I'm like, I, I keep saying, well, I'll be able to sleep later. Like eventually I'll sleep. So I might as well get this stuff done now. And I keep putting off, you know, maybe an extra hour or two of sleep to actually get stuff done. And it never seems like I ever take that day to actually rest. So I don't know. I don't know if that day will ever come where I actually feel like my house is in order and I get everything done that I want for the day by bedtime and then I can actually just rest. But, you know, or, or if this is just going to be a vicious cycle that never ends and I never actually find the time to rest. I don't know. If you've lived it, let me know in the comments. But for now, I mean, because we still, I don't feel like we've still like fully unpacked. There's a part of me that's like, well, I'll rest after the unpacking occurs. It hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Sad to say. I'll let you know if that changes. But we are just waiting. It's about time for the shutter guy to come. So we're waiting on that. And I'll show you guys the final product uh, when he's done with at least one of these rooms because I'm so excited for them. All right, so everyone has left. <laughs> the shutter guy left. The person that uh, finally came and uh, from the sprinklers uh, in the house, they left and our landscapers left. So I can finally like uh, decompress. Uh, Jack is taking a nap. Aubrey is walking her um, stuffed animal puppy thing outside and I'm taking a five minute break. So let me first show you guys, there's a fly in our house. Ugh. Let me first show you guys our new shutters. I absolutely love how they look. Uh, the great thing about them is like they open and close really nicely and it gets like really dark in here. So, you know, when people sleep at night, it'll be nice and dark and not distracting. And then these doors um, also like open up. So this one will open up towards me. That one opened up there. I'm not gonna open up right now just because there was some caulking done and I don't want to disturb any of that work. But I think they look really, really nice. And it's so much better than the little paper curtains that we had previously. So the issue with the sprinklers leaking actually had nothing to do with the sprinklers at all. Apparently it's our AC unit. There's like a small hole and it's been like dripping all the way down, you know, like in the ceiling or whatever. And the um, sprinkler location was like the lowest point and that's where the water was leaking out of. So the sprinkler guy left from KPS and now we have to call KB Homes again to get someone to come out and fix the AC unit. So who knows when that will be. I'm really hoping it's not going to be too hot. I don't know exactly how hot it is outside right now, but you know, the days are getting warmer and I sweat at like the lowest temperature. So it's amazing I survived living in Arizona for as long as I did, but you know, I'm really warm. I'll probably have to bring in some extra fans in here, but you know, that's going to be yet another issue that happened within the first couple of months of us living here. But it will be dealt with and hopefully moving forward, it'll be even better and we won't have any more issues with the AC unit this time. But since Jack is asleep right now, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet back the chairs. There's only two of them and hopefully it will be aesthetically pleasing. So let's put on some, like one of my favorite songs and let's go ahead and wet back our kitchen chairs.
Well, that wasn't nearly as satisfying as I was hoping for. I don't even think I'm gonna waste my time with the other one, just because there's more to do around here and it obviously didn't get it that clean. Uh, I think we're either gonna have to like really steam it with another tool that we have or use like a better cleaning solution. But to be honest, these are just hand-me-down chairs. They're not gonna last forever. But I was really hoping to like get them to be the nice pure white that they once were. I don't think that's gonna be the case. So let me go ahead and wrap up this video by showing you guys what our backyard looks like since it is you know, technically completed for now in its current stage and show you guys like how it all turned out. Okay, so this is the current slab or the slab that you know we had upon moving in and we had these six or actually eight squares uh, of cement. And this stuff I'll eventually move to our side yard along with our little tent up here. But we've extended the concrete slab even further. And then we have this big patch uh, just to our right after exiting, which is part of our figure eight. So here's our side yard. Our little retaining wall has been completed and we got our little side path. So let me uh, walk over here and this is kind of the direction that I envision us biking around just because you're not like gonna be biking into the house. At least this way, there's gonna be a little bit of a cushion of space between the path and the wall. But we did make this a little bit wider turn and then it's a slight uphill slope. So we'll, you know, slow down on the bikes and then we'll get a little, um, like a downhill slope going back into the figure eight over there. So again, over here, as I'm approaching this little area, I envision having like a little L-shaped bench and like a tiny little round or rectangular table for like coffee, just so me and whoever else comes over can sit here and hopefully watch the kids play in this area. Right now it's just dirt. But like I mentioned, we wanna move this little tent kind of over here just so Aubrey can play with her water table and she likes to put mud in there. And so, it's, you know, she'll make a mess and it'll at least be on the dirt and not on our cement. We will be getting a touch up on the paint because that just looks ridiculously ugly, but that's another story. So yeah, so I wanna have a little table here. Lately, Aubrey has been taking a little truck and like riding it along or with her hand like around the top of the retaining wall. So she's loved that. But this is a slight downhill slope and then I envision, you know, bikes going this way and uh, let's see, clockwise around this little path. So with the tent moved out of the way, this is gonna be a nice big slab for get togethers. We can have multiple tables out here and eventually we want a patio cover. But right now this is what we've got. We also did this side yard as well as an extra um, parking or like, you know, car slot in the front yard. So this is a nice wide area where we can keep our trash cans and it's more out of the way. We got some drainage and we got our little drought resistant plants up here on the hillside and hopefully they will continue to look beautiful and grow and kind of fill up that space. And again, this is sloped. You can kind of tell just by the bricks. You can see that, you know, this last little row gets, you know, hidden and then we have to go up a couple. So there is a very small slope, but honestly, I prefer this to a flat yard so that we can still have this figure eight path. And here is the wide angle view I shared in a previous video with the cement all poured in and the walls finished. I'm just so excited to watch Aubrey and Jack play out here as the years go by and any other future kids we might have. And then as I mentioned, Aubrey has been kind of like just walking around here uh, with a little, what's it called, a uh, little truck that she has and uh, she has this little like puppy that's on a leash and then she's been walking the puppy around. So it's just been really fun and like it just warmed my heart to see her enjoy this path. It's you know, if it was just grass, there's not that kind of direction for a kid her age. And so I think because we have this path that goes around the backyard, it like automatically encourages her to walk around it. And so she's getting more exercise. And once we eventually have grass here, 
it'll be fun to, you know, kick the ball around and, you know, and you don't have dirt everywhere. But she also likes the dirt, so I don't think she's going to be complaining, you know, in the meantime. But we will be getting mulch here and then when we can afford grass and when, you know, it's not so droughty, uh, you know, we'll eventually have, have grass here. But I'd like to thank you guys for kind of coming along on this big day for us. You know, our yard is getting done. We have shutters now, which I can show you from the outside. It looks really pretty and, you know, very private. And, uh, you know, unfortunately we had another big thing is our AC apparently has issues. So I will let you guys know when that ends up getting fixed, but we can check off these two big things for our house now. Don't forget to like this video. And if you guys are new here, I would love to have you guys stick around and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. So this is gonna be our life for the next like two to three days, this fan drying everything out because the, some of the structure I guess was a little wet. So we had people come to deal with the AC and the guy said they have to order a part so we can't use our AC at all, but you know, we can use the fan apparently. Yay. I'm gonna have to have a lot of fans running. And then, uh, and had another two set, a group of two guys come out to actually cut open this area and start to air it out. So hopefully over the weekends, they'll get the part that they need and fix this all on Monday, but this is gonna be our life. End of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.